Hello everybody, God bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made and then I choose to praise his holy name. I'm trusting you're having a wonderful day today. I wanna to talk to you today about what the Bible says about Christian fathers. That's right, Christian fathers. The greatest commandment in the scriptures is this, love the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all of your soul and with all of your strength in Deuterometry chapter six, verse five. Going back to verse two, we read, so that you, your children and their children after them may fear the Lord your God as long as you live by keeping his decrees and commandments that I give to you so that you may enjoy a long life. These commandments that I give to you today are to be upon your hearts impress them upon your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. So we are to have fellowship with our children, taking time for them, walking with them, around the tables, have fellowship with them. Let it be a beautiful experience. The Israelites history reveals that the father was to be diligent in instructing his children in the ways of the words of the Lord for their spiritual development and for their well-being. A father is a full-time job. The father who was obedient to the commands of the scriptures did just that. Proverbs 22, 6 says, Train a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not turn from it. To train indicates first instruction that the father and the mother to give to a child, his early education. The training is designed to make clear to the children the manner of life they are intended for them. To commence for a child's early education is a way of great importance. The other day I was walking and I saw a, a group of children in a car. I turned to them and said, did you guys skip school today? And they said, oh no, we're homeschooled. And I said, I knew I felt something special about this car. And I said, mom, you're doing a great job. The kids were so polite, so happy, so good. It's a full-time job, a full-time job. Ephesians chapter six, verse four is a summary to the fathers stated with a negative and a positive. So listen up. Fathers, do not aspirate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instructions of the Lord. Now the negative part of this verse indicates that the father should not foster negativity for his children. He must not be injustice. He must not be partial. It is crazy to find out that some dads like one kid better than the other. Ay, 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 that is wrong. And you'll pay for that, my dear friend. I mean, those are bad seeds that you're sowing. Harsh and unreasonable things and that you want them to be more perfect than you are. Give me a break, dad. Come on now. Do not provoke your child. Do not irritate them. Do not incite them. This is done by a wrong spirit and a wrong methods of, of just being over extreme in discipline, being unreasonable, sternness, harshness, cruel demands, needless restrictions, selfish in, uh, to be like, like a, like a dictator in authority. This will produce negative reactions, deadening the children's affection, reducing their love and their desire for holiness, and making them feel that they can never please their parents. A wise parent seeks to make obedience desirable and attainable by love and gentleness. Listen to this sentence, my friend. The Christian father is really an instrument in God's hands. Wow. 
an instrument in God's hands. The whole process of instruction and discipline must be that which God commands and which we administer as a dad so that the authority should be brought in constant and immediate contact in this child and in their mind, in their heart, and in the conscience of a child. Listen to this sentence. Martin Luther said, keep an apple beside the rod to give the child when he does well. I'll read it again. Keep an apple beside the rod to give the child when he does well. When he does wrong, yes, discipline is in order. But when he does right, you need to hand him an apple, which as the apple represents affirmation. You did a great job. You really was awesome today. So there needs to be a balance of discipline and affirmation. And as you learn to do that as a dad, God will bless you. God will reward you. Being a dad is a full-time job, and then you have another job. You need to schedule your time to be with your kids. It's so very, very important. Let me read a couple things before I close today again. The Christian father is an instrument in God's hands. Wow. An instrument in God's hands. And then my last one that I really impressed with, Martin Luther said, keep an apple beside the rod or beside the belt to give the child when he does good. Affirmation. I believe that you can make your child want to be good as you give him more affirmation. So dad, I pray for you today that the Lord give you wisdom and knowledge from above as you raise this daughter, as you raise this son, you treat them all equal. You don't like one more than the other. That is sin, that is horrible. And may you repent of that if you're doing that. I pray today that God will bless you and your children. God bless you. This is Prophetic Evangelist Gordon Hofer. Thank you for praying for our ministry and thank you for supporting this ministry. I bless you today with the Father's blessing. Oh, by the way, you need to lay your hands upon your children and say to them, I release my blessing upon your life. It'll change you and change your children. So bless them, bless them, bless them, bless them. Have a great day. Bye-bye.